Hello, and welcome to this video on debt management plans. A debt management plan, also known as a DMP, is a way of helping you keep on top of your debt repayments. It is an informal agreement between you and your creditors, whereby you agree on a manageable way to pay back your debts. This is just one of a number of ways in which you can go about paying back your debts. Our other videos can take you through some of the alternative options if this is not right for you. This video will talk through what debt management plans are, and how to set one up. It will also cover how to manage your plans, and what to do if you have any problems meeting the requirements of the plan. Debt management plans can be a great option if you want to repay your creditors but can only afford to do so through small monthly payments. You can either arrange the plan with the creditors yourself, or you can use a company to organize it for you. This type of repayment scheme is normally used to pay back non-priority debts. This includes things such as credit cards, student loans, or benefits overpayments. They are considered non-priority because the consequences of not paying are less severe than for other types of debt. A DMP differs from other debt repayment schemes, such as an individual voluntary arrangement, in that it is not legally binding. There is no minimum period and you can cancel it at any time. However, the informality of the agreement does benefit the creditor as well. They do not have to reduce their interest rates or even agree to your reduced payments at all, and they may still take further court action against you. If you can afford the monthly repayments, a DMP does offer many advantages. It will allow you to go about your day without having to worry about dealing with your creditors. And splitting the payments into manageable monthly chunks may help you budget more easily. Before you think about setting up a DMP, you should make sure that you have dealt with your priority debts first. You should also take a quick look at your finances to see if you can afford to make the monthly payments. You can set up a debt management plan yourself, or you can use a debt management company. You must make sure that you only use a company that has been authorized by the Financial Conduct Authority. You can search the Financial Services Register on the government website for an authorized company. The company will analyze your financial situation, including your income and any assets that you have, and they will come up with a plan for your monthly payments. The company will then contact your creditors and ask them to agree to the plan. Be aware that your creditors do not have to agree to the plan and they may still chase you to recover their money as this is not a legally binding agreement. Unfortunately, there will be some additional costs involved. Some companies will charge you a fee to set up the plan and even a handling fee every time you make a payment. Remember that some charities, such as Step Change, provide the service without charging any fees. Once your debt management plan has been set up, you will send the provider a monthly payment, and this payment will then be used to pay your creditors. This means that you should be able to avoid all direct contact with your creditors. To give your DMP the best possible chance of success, you should be prepared for change. If you encounter any unexpected financial worries, let your DMP provider know straight away, so that they can update your plan. Make sure that you review your plan at least once a year with your provider, so that they can check that your budget is sustainable. You need to make sure that you are left with enough money to pay for essential items, such as food, clothing and toiletries. See if you can find ways to reduce your spending and save money on bills while still having enough money to cover the essentials. Be aware that it may take a little time for things to settle down. Your creditors may try to continue to contact you once the plan has started, but you should find that as time goes by and you stick to your DMP, your creditors should contact you less and less. You should not be afraid to let your provider know if you are struggling with the payments. They may be able to review your budget for you and allow you some more money to pay for any urgent or unexpected costs. One common reason why people struggle with DMPs is that their creditors may continue to charge them interest and late fees on their debt. If this has happened to you, you could ask your provider to renegotiate with your creditors or even ask your creditors to freeze the interest yourself. It is important to ensure that you do not miss a payment, as missing a payment could mean that your creditors stop cooperating with your DMP provider and your plan could be cancelled. It could also mean that your credit score is negatively impacted further. Make sure that you are not tempted to take on additional debt to solve your issue. If you talk to your DMP provider first, 
they may be able to renegotiate your agreed payments and help temporarily ease the financial strain. If you find that you are not happy with your DMP provider, you can always cancel your current arrangement and move to a new provider. However, this will cause delays with the repayment of your debt, and there is always the risk that your creditors won't agree to the new DMP. This concludes our video on debt management plans. If you are not sure that debt management plans are right for you, be sure to consider some of the other options for debt management which are detailed in our other videos.